Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nandipa. If you are regular, thank you for your support. Now in today's video, we are going to be doing some immune boosting shots. Yes, if you don't have a juicer, not a problem. We are going to be using our blender. So we'll be doing three different types of shots. As we know in South Africa, we are coming up to winter, the cold times where immune system is compromised. So we need to get that immune system back up again. I have a few of my ingredients. Now this is the first um, shot that we are going to be doing. So I've got some carrots and then I have some turmeric. I have some lemon as well as I have ginger. Now all of these are absolutely amazing to help to boost your immune system to prevent any colds and flus. Now I'm not saying these do um, replace the normal shots that you get, absolutely not. But this is something that you can help to do if you cannot afford to buy yourself um, those lovely expensive shots. Now let's get into the video. Now it is important before you begin that you thoroughly wash your vegetables, okay? Um, make sure you have a brush and use warm water, whatever you need to really clean them out. Okay, so I have not um, removed the skin of the carrot. You can do if you're finding your carrot really needs to, but I really just wash the carrots and then I am chopping them into small sizes and then I'm putting them into the blender. Now the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be preparing the ginger. Now I'm going to be chopping the ginger with the skin. I will not be removing the skin. So please make sure again that you wash your ginger thoroughly. So the next step is I'm going to be slicing the ginger and that's also going to go into the blender. Now also another important thing to remember is that every time you finish cutting something up, make sure you clean your knife as well as you clean your chopping board so you are not using the same one with the same juices as well as the same knife that has um, cut the previous vegetable. Okay, so now that gets into there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be um, doing the lemon. Now it is entirely up to you if you want to leave the skin of the lemon because it does tend to be a little bit bitter or you can just leave it on. That is entirely up to you. We're also going to be chopping that up and we are going to be ending it in there. Now we do know the importance of these things and the benefits of these things. Your carrots is absolutely great as immune booster, helps to uh, improve your blood sugar, it helps to uh, boost your heart health and it protects your liver and then you've got your vitamin C in the lemon which is fantastic you've got your ginger that is so great for boosting your immune system now what I'm adding on is I'm adding the turmeric now when you're using turmeric please do remember that um, to add your pepper as well so it actually helps to um, bind with your, your turmeric so your turmeric as well as your um, black pepper they work very well together okay so the next thing is we're going to you can add a little bit of water just so it can actually um, blend well so it is not too dry so we are up and we are going to be blending all of that together all right so once that's finished um, you can literally just use a sieve or you can use a cheesecloth, whatever you can use to literally separate the, um, the blended mix to, um, to a glass. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. It looks absolutely amazing. Look at this gorgeous orange color. I just love the way it is so bright and so full of nutrients. It looks absolutely stunning. All right, so this is it. Let's go. Add a cadabra. Cheers. So that is your first shot. Now our next shot is going to be our lemon, orange, as well as turmeric. 
So as we did in the beginning, we are going to prepare our lemon again. We're going to slice that, chop that and put it in the blender. I do apologize for the angle of the camera. I just realized that. I will fix it, not to worry, that will be fixed very soon. Okay, so once you finish, again, if you want to, you can peel off your the skin from the lemon or you can just leave it as it is. Now, our next ingredient is the orange. Now, what you do is you peel off the skin of the orange. Now, I love oranges. Oranges are um, very good. They help to protect your cells from damage. They help the body to make um, collagen, which is a protein. So it's very good for helping with any wounds. It also is very good to make your um, the absorption of iron to, to fight any anemia. Also boost your immune system. And it also is very high in vitamin C, of course, and it helps to fight any cancer causing free radicals. So your oranges go in there and they also help to taste. They help with the taste, especially if it's sweet. Of course, we will be adding um, a little bit of turmeric as well as, yes, you guessed it, some black pepper because black pepper helps the body to absorb turmeric so that's going to be our black pepper okay so after that we're going to add a little bit of water just to help with the blending now while we are busy with that let's talk about turmeric or they call it curcumin in some countries i have no idea okay so turmeric is also known as like a superfood because it helps to um, to fight with any cancer cells also helps to ease depression which is great it also is an anti-inflammatory so it helps to fight with any um, viral infections and it's very good if you are premenstrual also very good help to treat with high cholesterol helps with arthritis because again it is an anti-inflammatory helps if you've got any problems with any um, irritable bowel syndrome and of course you can use turmeric on your face to help to heal with any scarring or any acne as well so turmeric is a very important ingredient to have whether it will be in your juices in your smoothie you can cook with it you can literally do about anything and the best turmeric you can get i mean if you can get it you can get the actual root of the turmeric which looks a lot like ginger except the color is very different it's a lot more um yellowish or orange in color so yes it's best if you can get that turmeric if you can't that's okay you can just use the turmeric powder so after blending out everything, we are going to use the sieve again or cheesecloth, anything that you're going to help. So we get that into a juice state. And another cheers, another awesome um, shot. Now our next and final immune boosting shot is going to be the beetroot, the apple as well as a beetroot. Now we're going to be doing the same thing as we did before. We're going to be chopping our ingredients and then we're going to be putting them in the blender. No difference here. Okay, so now we are going to be um, chopping off the onion. You don't need the stem inside, so just remove the stem that's inside. You can keep your peel on. So apples are very nutritious. They're very good for helping with the weight loss. They're also very good for your heart. They can lower the risk of diabetes. And they're also obviously very good for your gut as they have um, prebiotic effects. And they can also help to fight and prevent any cancer as well. So um, ever heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps a doctor away. So yes, so we finished preparing for our apple and then we're going to chop that and we are.
Okay, so next up is our beetroot. Now, beetroot or beet, um, we call it beetroot. So beetroot helps to increase your stamina. So it's very good to help you during your exercise because it helps with your heart and lungs to work better. It helps to increase the blood flow into your muscles, helps to prevent any heart disease as well as um, any strokes as well. And it also very good as a detoxification also helps to fight any, any inflammatories and can also help to improve your skin and because it's good as a detox it can also help um, to keep you regular so that's going to be very good and it also helps um, to give you more brain power so we're going to chop all of that and then we are going to um, so what I've done basically because what I did first was um, boil my beet just for a few minutes and now I'm taking the water from the beetroot and I'm just adding it in there so to help with the blending Okay, so after that, obviously, we are going to blend our mixture and then we're going to do exactly the same as we have done with our previous two. Sift that or you're going to use a cheesecloth. Now, if you are interested on one of my other videos where I did my fermented garlic and honey, I'm going to leave that in the description box below because it's also very good for helping to boost with the immune system. Look at the color. I absolutely just love the color of that beetroot. I'm bringing it a bit closer so you can really see the color. Okay, so again, once everything is blended in, you're just going to um, sift that and then you are going to transfer it into your glass. If you are enjoying this video, please make sure that you give it a huge thumbs up. And also, if you have not done, if you have not already done so, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and then you also hit your notification bell so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Okay, so that's done. Check that a gorgeous color out. It is absolutely stunning. I just love that color. Okay, here we go again. On three, two, one, and boom. Now, cheers. This is our last of our juice. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure you stay healthy during this winter as well as you keep safe if you're in South Africa of course if you're any part of the world please also still make sure that you are keeping safe as well as healthy make sure you take all your vitamins and all the nutrients that the body needs